Okay, guys, I'm here. It's Camp Gladiator Day 2. And I have to tell you, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Last time it, uh, it, it didn't hit me until a couple days afterwards, but my arms were, oh my goodness, so sore. Um, my legs were okay, so I guess the running did help. Anyway, day two, here we go. I'll catch you on the flip side. Hello and welcome to another Daily Rant. My name is Steven Streeter and today is Monday. Now, Monday is a day where, you know, at the very beginning of the week, we feel like we just want to give up. But uh, first, I want to talk about something very special that happened yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, as a matter of fact, it's um, something that I did for my children. Something very special. Now, when we make pizza, we like to make it from scratch. You know, we get the water, we get the yeast, oil, salt, the sugar, flour, mix it all together. We make ourselves a, a pizza and uh, we put our own toppings. That's how we like to do it. We don't like to order pizza from Pizza Hut or Domino's or Papa John's or any of that stuff. We like it from scratch, from the oven and into our belly. So yesterday, I got it into my idea to make something a little bit different, a little bit special. Something like this. Now you might not notice on first glance, but uh, this pizza is a double decker. So let me tell you a little bit about this double decker pizza. You may have noticed something a little bit different as one of the toppings. Um, go a little bit closer. That's right, folks, macaroni noodles. I had to do something for my kids that was special and different, and they love mac and cheese, right? And they also love pizza. And so I decided to take the pizza idea and the mac and cheese idea and combine them. Mac and cheese is special and it only needs to be, you know, in a pan with mac and cheese, the elbow noodles and your cheese and the, and the, and, and the, 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 the roux, the roux sauce with the cheese to make it nice and thick and, 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 and tasty. And then you put it in the oven to get all the, the, the crispy mac and cheese. Now with this, I put the mac and cheese in the middle and um, on top, it's because I need to have the crunchy noodles, I put some uh, some mac and cheese noodles here, see, on the top. See, yeah, that was crunchy, crunchy, mm, that's good. I, I just came back from Camp Gladiator, I shouldn't be doing this, but I can't, I can't speed it up. So good. Okay, so on the top, along with the uh, the mac macaroni noodles, there's ham, okay, and some onion, and that that goes really well with it. Okay, this one fell on the floor. Can't eat that. Well, five second roll, but not outside. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know it's been outside. Um, so so uh, there's one thing that. Uh, that I know, okay, I'm, I'm talking to you. I know you're gonna have a problem with this. I'm sorry, but you know, when you have kids, sometimes you have to trick them into eating things that are healthy with things that are not as healthy. Now, I'm sorry, okay, I said it, I'm sorry. If I didn't have kids, I wouldn't have done this. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy, it's broccoli. But, when you mix broccoli with cheese, it's delicious. So, I figured I'd get a pass. If you like broccoli and cheese mixed together, i get a pass, right? It doesn't matter that there's the noodles in it. Because the thing is, you got the noodles, you got the crust, you got the cheese. I mean, it, it works. And, and, and you know, if, if you need to get your kids to eat broccoli, sometimes, you know, there's no other way. I mean, but, okay. So... I'm sorry, I had to do it. Sometimes, your kids are too smart for their own good. Sometimes they're too smart for you as a parent. For instance, my daughter Nikita, this was her reaction. I don't want broccoli. Broccoli doesn't go on pizza. I know, right? Can you believe it? Oh, man, there I am trying to be a good parent, give my child healthy along with something that wasn't as healthy, 
and she would not let it pass. She would not let it fly. In fact, she refused to touch the pizza until all the broccoli was removed. The next thing I want to talk to you about has to do with it being Monday and how sometimes we start the week off regretting you know, that it's Monday or looking forward to the rest of the week and feeling defeated. And I think that all stems from this, from this horrible thing called self-defeat. And self-defeat is whenever basically we defeat ourselves before we even try. And that reminds me of a post I did a while back talking to one of my buddies, um, the Axed Man. And uh, he said that, you know, based on the fact that I was running every day and trying to, to better my life through exercise and, and a health regime, basically because my wife got me this for Father's Day, um, and he said that he couldn't do it, that he couldn't do what I was doing. And that is a prime example of self-defeat. If you give up before you even start, of course, you, get, you, you lost. You, you don't win. You, you, you give up. Um, but then when you start, that, that idea of self-defeat, it doesn't go away. It keeps coming back over and over. And you have to tell it to stop coming back. You say, hey, hey self-defeat, go away. And self-defeat will go away. But that doesn't mean he's not going to try to keep coming back until you put him down. Okay? You got to put him down. Get that self-defeat out of there. And eventually, he won't, he won't come he won't come as often as he used to. Um, and eventually he'll be gone. All right, and that's the point. You have to get over those hurdles of self-defeat so that you can become something greater, something more, like, like the arrow, something else. Um, and uh, as you get through those, those barriers that you put against yourself, um, you, will, you will see that you change, that, that you'll become stronger. And, uh, and, 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 and I'm talking, the thing is, is I'm talking to you based on, that's my sound barrier. Yesterday my sound wasn't very, wasn't very good because of the wind and it's very windy. So I'm trying this out. This is a, an umbrella um, to see about, you know, if I can fix that sound problem. Anyway, so self-defeat and those barriers and getting better. So as you put up those, you know, this is something that, that I, I struggle with all the time. And it's not just with exercise, okay? With exercise, there's plenty of examples of self-defeat. But no, I'm talking about my own personal dreams. Um, the fact that I'm doing these videos right now. I mean, as I told you before, I, naturally, uh, my instincts, I'm a filmmaker, okay? Hey, wind, you got to calm down. I'm a filmmaker and you know being a filmmaker there's lots of hurdles that you have to overcome um, one of the main hurdles is is money because the thing is is being a filmmaker that is the most expensive line of work or hobby that you can get into that has little to no return okay little to no return if you talk to someone who has a business education they will tell you that that is a you know that is an basically a, a bad investment okay Bad investment, little to no return equals bad investment. And, um, but sometimes, you know, when you're bitten by that filmmaking bug, you have to answer it. You have to do something to, to heal that, 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 that poison that you've been injected with of filmmaking. Because honestly, it's great. I, I love making films, but the problem is, is it's so expensive. How do you do it? But today, in today's world, we have cell phones, which is what I'm using to film this right now. And, uh, you know, a couple years ago, you wouldn't have been able to do this, but today you can. And so I have my cell phone, I have my gimbal, and then I have my trusty umbrella to help me out with the sound. And it's just about those, those simple barriers that you got to bust down one at a time. And um, as you bust through them, you can overcome any obstacle. And, and so that, that's kind of what I want to leave you with today. You can overcome any obstacle as you bust through those barriers that are self-created. Because honestly, in today's world, you should be able to accomplish anything if you stick your mind to it. So do that, guys. Tackle this week accomplishing anything by sticking your mind to it. And, and, and basically, that's the theme of yesterday's video. Through self-belief and hard work, you can find success. All right? So I'm going to leave you with that. Watch yesterday's video if you didn't. And then today, you can, you know, have some double-decker pizza. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Nobody wants to see a fat guy eat.
If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell button so you can stay up to date with my videos. See you tomorrow.